Well, Glacier National Park officials announced earlier this week that the plan is to reopen the park in early June. Park Superintendent Jeff Mao told MTN that the reopening will be in phases, but it won't be that far off from what you see, what you would see in a normal year. There will be signs and barriers reminding people to keep space between them and others, but it will be largely up to the visitors to socially distance themselves. Coronavirus restrictions made bringing in staff more difficult and with heightened cleaning requirements for the park's facilities, officials are taking things one step at a time. This is something the world has never seen before. So, uh, yeah, it's an adjustment for all of us. And how we operate things like national parks, let alone movie theaters and other things, there's no clear-cut answer because we've never been down this path before. Well, the unofficial start of summer is here with Memorial Day, but things are a little different for private campgrounds in Montana this year. MTN's Isaiah Dunk has more. It's Memorial Day weekend, and as usual, it figures to be a busy weekend for those looking to get outside. For campground owners, though, the uncertainty brought by COVID-19 has changed their outlook on the weekend and the rest of the summer. Many spots are filled at Great Falls KOA, for instance, but owner Brandy Boatwright said it's not a Memorial Day crowd. We do appear full, which we're very grateful for. Um, there's a couple of big projects going on in town that require temporary workers, welders, that type of thing who stay month to month, and so we've been able to fill those spots, which has been great, um, and we hope they stay for maybe a little bit longer, but um, we, we really like the overnight guests because they're here to have a good time. It's not just a lifestyle. Boatwright relies on travelers from Canada and those going to Glacier National Park, but many of her summer reservations have canceled. Luckily, Great Falls KOA has recently been able to open its communal bathrooms, which allows for cabin rentals and tent use, and hopefully a wider range of customers. We're just doing the all that we can to stay open and to keep people safe, and we feel like camping is a great solution to keep yourselves entertained, and, and we can help with that. Out of town, Pruitt Creek RV Park and campground near Craig is busy. But instead of the usual out-of-state and international travelers looking for world-class fishing and recreation, it's overwhelmingly locals right now. Our park is normally out-of-state tourism. We'll have to be more diligent about locals coming in and utilizing our resources that we've never had to really experience before. Lynch's park is nearly full on RVs, but tent camping isn't open. We're a small RV park and we just um, aren't able to maintain our facilities more than what we have in the past. As out-of-state travelers look to escape to Montana in phase two, Lynch expects the combination of tourists, locals, and restrictions to cause a space shortage in her area. She says anywhere you go this summer, call ahead first. In Great Falls, Isaiah Dunk, MTN News.